We have been seeing quite a bit of cloud cover across central Texas, and I do think that will continue tonight into Wednesday as well. And we may see a disturbance or two kick off one or two isolated showers. It's not going to be a big deal. I think our best rain chances arrive as we head into Thursday. Speaking of that, we may have a bit of a strong thunderstorm threat to go along with it as we head into Thursday afternoon and evening. And that could be right across central Texas over into northeast Texas as well. This does not look like a major severe weather event, but a little hail, a little wind, and some of the stronger storms can't be ruled out. So that's something we will be tracking closely for you. Let's take a look in our future track showing you again some spotty showers will be possible as we head through the overnight hours tonight going into Wednesday morning and then on into the afternoon. This is trying to clear us out. Most models keep us cloudy tomorrow, and that's what I'm going to go with. I think this is too much sunshine by Wednesday afternoon. Be nice if it was right, but I think the majority of models probably going to win out with mostly cloudy skies. Then the clouds return as we head into Thursday morning, and this is where things get a little more interesting as a cold front will be on approach from the north. As we get into the mid to late afternoon hours, it does appear that thunderstorm chances will be going up. Where does this band exactly set up? Well, that will determine our frontal placement, and if we can get to set up in areas that didn't see as much rain last time, That'd be really nice, but scattered thunderstorms will be possible again. A strong storm or two will be possible as we get into Thursday afternoon and evening. This is trying to clear it out by about 9 p.m. or so. I think that's a little fast here. I do think some residual rains will continue across the area on into Friday morning, and then it will slowly come to an end thereafter. So how much rain could we be seeing? Well, again, wherever that heavier band sets up, one, two, maybe up to three inches, will be possible and the eastern half of the area being favored in this particular model run. Again, the models will shift around with each run. We'll continue to track this closely. It'd be nice to get some moisture around here. As we take a look at temperatures tonight, be down into the middle 60s, a mild start as we head into your Wednesday and then highs will be in the upper 70s to near 80 with quite a bit of cloud cover as we make our way through Wednesday afternoon and a slight chance of showers to go along with it. Decent shot of scattered thunderstorms on Thursday, 80 degrees for a high. Some of those could be strong. Friday, 40% chance of lingering showers in the morning, stopping in the afternoon, 79 for a high. Then it cools down as we head into the weekend with a high of 70 on Saturday, 60 Sunday and Monday as the clouds return and maybe another chance of showers to go along with it.